All right, time now for Ask Half Time with the Traders. We're going to answer some of your questions. All right, Jim, you ready? This comes from Liam in Atlanta. What is the best way to diversify your portfolio or mitigate risk as a new investor? Well, look, this is this may seem like an overly simple answer, but I'd like you to have a little bit of cash on the sidelines to mitigate risk. Don't feel with the stock market at record highs every day that you need to have every single dollar invested. Hold 10, 15 percent cash on the sidelines. Now, I don't think there's a crash coming, but if you get a correction, then you're going to get the opportunity to buy stocks in all sorts of industries at attractive prices. So just hold a little bit on the side right now. All right, next up, and this is coming for Stephen Weiss from Rad. The guy's name is Rad, but he's from Texas, so it's appropriate. Does Amazon have momentum as a buy on its ride to a $2 trillion possible market cap? Well, I think it's endemic of the market. So the market's a momentum market, so Amazon does. I mean, it's still a stock that millennials want to own. Today, we saw DraftKings, which traded on headlines in the NBA, which for a long-term player is ridiculous. So it's a name that resonates with millennials, Robin Hood, and with me, frankly. I own it, big position. Yes, I think it keeps going higher. All right, this one is for Kerry from John in California. Blackstone has been stuck in the low 50s for a while. Do you see Blackstone moving higher, Kerry? Well, John, we do. Blackstone is the premier private equity firm. It has a lot of free cash available to spend on dislocation resulting from the pandemic and all kinds of opportunities in many asset classes. Uh, and of course, as institutions such as pension funds, state retirement funds realize that interest rates are very low, they're moving more money into alternatives. And that plays into Blackstone's strength. All right, next up for Rich from Ken in North Carolina. He wants to start a position in Abbott Labs, maybe around that COVID test. Rich, what are your thoughts about Abbott? Yeah, we like the uh, stock. Uh, we've owned it for years. The uh, point of care antigen test is enabling people with 15 minutes and five bucks to get a result. Uh, so it's gonna add roughly two and a half to 2.7 billion in revenues next year. And we would buy the stock. Uh, you may want to wait for a little bit of a pullback. It's up pretty big today, but we like the stock. All right, good stuff there. And hey, Stephen Weiss, we got a bonus question for you because there is a big story Bring out there on. on the TikTok potential ban. Or well, let's do it. Why is anybody talking about China unbanning? Is that even a word? Facebook, Google, Netflix, Zoom, or Pinterest? The unban trade. Well, it actually has been a topic of discussion for quite some time. And uh, I don't know why the administration doesn't go for that. I mean, they talk about security issues with TikTok. They are there for sure. But they should also at the same time say, hey, we want to improve the business for our companies, but they're not doing that. It doesn't make any sense. And I don't know why anybody would protest the banning of TikTok because they just don't play fair. Another indication. 